This is our main board for uh, the power supply. We have the option to select generator, that means we get the power from our test van directly from the engine or we connect it to a power, external power supply. We have to uh, uh, put the switch in the right position. Here we have some circuit breakers. One is for the external generator, one is for the air condition and additional we have an uh, inverter inside. We use the battery of the car uh, to get 230 volts uh, output and uh, the main switch is this button on off. So let's switch on now because we are connected to our power supply. You see immediately the light starts blanking that means the instrument is now charging the internal batteries. We have the power supply. The next step is we have to switch on our SPG40. That means we have two different units inside. The big one in the rear is for pre-location pinpointing she's fault location and the other unit here is only for VLF testing. She's fault location and DC testing also. Okay. So now first we have to switch on this one to get the power supply to our SPG40. Next step is we must switch on here this T30E. Now system is booting. This is our control panel for the SPG40. Okay, in the beginning it is possible that we get some error messages here. So I try to clear the messages. And you see still we have an, uh, a message here, emergency switch, key switch error. That means it is possible that this key is not connected. This one is not okay, so let's try again. Now this emergency switch, that means we have an additional switch in the rear of the car, outside. We have to go outside. Okay, after we delete all our fault messages, the system goes automatically into the main menu. Into the main menu we can select external device, that means the VLF, or different options of the SPG40. It is testing, breakdown test, pre-location, pinpointing, burning, and this is a startup menu. Um, in the beginning, when we reach a cable fault, our first step is to, to check which uh, phase is damaged. For this reason, we need uh, to go into testing mode. Uh, we have two options, testing with 40 kV or only insulation test. When we select insulation test, the maximum output voltage is 5 kV. And uh, in insulation test, we will get a result of our fault resistance. That means if it is higher than 250 mega ohms, it will show us. If it is less than, it will give us the value of the resistor. So I switch it on now. The system is now preparing everything. Next step is high voltage on. First you have to confirm here and to active with the pushing the green button. So the, re the red light means now our system is now preparing the high voltage. But there is no high voltage up to now. So the next step is we have to go to set voltage and adjust now the output voltage we want to use. In this moment I will adjust 5 kV. And you see the system is now charging, but it doesn't reach 5 kV. That means we have a breakdown approximately by 1.7 kV. And this is our fault resistor. 600, between 600 and 590 kilo ohms. So this we have to make in all three phases to get a result of the failure resistor. Okay, that's all. Now we can go back. 
selecting here and confirm here or we do it directly and push here. You see the same step. High voltage is now switching off and I go, can go back into the next menu.